Hi everyone, it's me Paige here. I just wanted to send all send all of you this video just for a little update as for what's happening to me because while well, I haven't been able to communicate with you guys, I just wanted to tell all of you how I've been. These past few days have been very eventful and I'm still working incredibly hard on making my first two videos. The first video is going to go to the school, which will possibly be watching this video too. My second video will just be like introductory, you know, having all my footage that I've already shot. But, uh, well, I've been doing pretty good. When I, when, we, when I first arrived here on Sunday, what they did is they didn't really do anything besides just taking me in. They showed me around in the room. They gave me a swab too, a nose swab and another swab too. But yeah, those swabs, they gave me an IV in my arm. Cut to the next day, which was yesterday, Monday. Today's Tuesday. They, uh, the first thing I woke up, they were going to do anesthesia because they are going to do a surgery to finally give me my line inside my chest, as you can see here. This is the line that's in my chest. It's, it has all of my, uh, has all of the cords and all of the things used for my medical stuff here. And it was yesterday when they gave me the surgery to install the line inside my chest. Alongside that, they also gave me an additional line down in my hip area too. I mean, it was weird how I got the anesthesia. Like, like the last thing I remember was I was just in a pre-op room, you know, getting ready to go, uh, to go actually get the line in my chest and and get the surgery. But the thing is, like, all of a sudden I just teleported for some reason. Like, I don't. Like, I don't remember them giving me uh, the IV in my arm for anesthesia or me going into the surgery room. I just remember suddenly waking up and I was out and I was already done with the surgery. And I'm still confused about what happened. <laughs> After that, we came back and they gave me this giant blood transfusion thing where they ended up taking out my old bad sickle cell blood and they ended up putting in uh, putting in donor, donate, donated blood inside of me. It's like a interesting transfusion where essentially they take out my bad blood and give me good blood at the same time. So they're not taking too much blood where I get woozy and they don't put in too much blood that it causes problems in my system. And at the end of the, of, of the thing, I had like a giant bag full of bad blood that was like this long. And I have a, I even got a photo taken of me carrying this giant bag full of all of my blood. It was very interesting. Well, recently I've been feeling tired, in pain, fatigued, like especially when I've been walking around, I've been limping, not in pain, but like in wooziness and tiredness, you know. Even after they gave me the new blood, I still was very fatigued, still very tired, and very, um, just felt very ill at ease, you know. But now I'm feeling a little bit better. As you can tell, I'm better. I'm good. I'm good enough to send out this video. So I am doing okay at best. But I hope you all enjoyed this video I sent out and you can get a further understanding of what's happening on my side of things. And I promise to you, I will get those videos out soon. I don't know when, but I'm going to get them out soon. But other than that, thank you all for watching, and I hope you all understand what I've been going through.